Hello my darlings, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have done half of my face using affordable makeup and half of my face using expensive ass high-end makeup and I had the most fun filming this but before we get into it, before I mention which side is which, I would love for you guys to have a guess right now in the comments down below. Let me know before the video starts which side you think is high end and which side you think I used affordable products on because the reason I had so much fun filming this video is because it was so interesting to me to see how similar these products looked on the face like I honestly find it so hard to tell like I feel like if I went out like this aside from the lips because I feel like the lip color is a little bit off <laughs> on the two different sides but I feel like if I went out like this aside from the lip color that nobody would be able to tell that I'm wearing like different products on each side of my face. Insane that they look so similar and it shows you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on makeup. You can spend a little bit on makeup and get the exact same look as you would using high-end makeup. So if you guys are interested in seeing half of my face using high-end makeup and half of my face using affordable makeup then please keep watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy and yeah let's just go ahead and get started. So as you can probably tell I already have my eyebrows filled in because it's really hard for me to find eyebrow products from the drugstore that actually match me that weighs way too golden so I didn't want to like do it and then have like one golden looking eyebrow and then one ashy looking eyebrow because I feel like the point of this video is for the two sides to look the same. I'm going to go ahead and apply some oil to my face. I am obsessed with putting oil on before I start my makeup look. So for the affordable side which I'm going to do on this side here I have the NYX Honey Do Me Up. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my god, I love the feeling of that. And this is actually a dupe for this one. It's from Fasali, I believe it's pronounced. It is the Rose Gold Elixir, the 24 karat gold infused beauty oil. This stuff is not cheap. Oh my god, I think it was like 80 something dollars, which is ridiculous. Oh wow, that is so cool. Hold on. I'm gonna show you, I don't want it to like drip everywhere. Oh! Oh no, don't go to the eyebrow. <laughs> oh, this one's definitely a lot more oily than the Honey Do Me Up. If you look this up, if you Google dupe, literally comes up with just the NYX one so much. But I definitely like the feeling of the one from NYX a lot better. And now I'm going to do my eyes first. So I'm going to start by priming. I always prime with concealer. So for this side, I'm going to be using the Hello Girl Hello Girl, LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the shade Natural and my hands are like all oily now so I can't open it. <laughs> and then for the other side I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is in the shade Light Medium. To set the more affordable side of my face I'm going to be using the Face of Australia Translucent Loose Powder. And now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. So I have these two palettes here for my eyes. Can you believe that they're so similar? Like I feel like this should be copyright or something. So the more affordable side is the Oakland Seal or Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know how to pronounce any of those words. I don't even know like what it says, sorry. Yeah, more high-end side, I have the Lime Crime Venus 2 palette. These even have the same names of the colors. Like this one here is called Pigeon and so is this like how can they do how can they do that the first shade I'm going to be picking up is the shade mustard which is just like a mustard yellow or baby puke color So I'm actually spot cleaning my brushes between um, palettes so that I don't mix the two palettes. But now I'm just going to go in with Mustard from the Venus palette. Wow, that's so strange. They even have like the same amount of... Um, where is it? They even have like the same amount of kickback, I believe it's called, where like the shadow's a bit powdery. They even have the same amount of that. I will say that I did find the Lime Crime palette to be a little easier to work with on this shade. Now I'm going to move on to this shade here called Jam. It's like a burnt orange color.
dipping into the shade Mud and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid to make kind of like, oh, a smoky eye. Now I'm going to add some liquid liner. I don't want a wing or anything. I just want a line really close to my lash line to kind of like help blend false lashes, which I'm going to apply in a second. So for the affordable side, I have the LA Girl Line Art Matte Eyeliner. And for the other side, I have the Kat Von D Tattoo Waterproof Liquid Liner. This is in the shade Trooper. Then I'm taking the NYX Eye and Eyebrow Pencil, and I'm just going to use this to tight line my eyes. Or my eye. The one eye. And I don't really have a proper pencil for the other side, so I'm just using this one from Nude Sticks. It's like a, um, what is it, magnetic eye color in the shade Night. I'm taking the LA Girl Double D Double Drama Volum Voluptuous Mascara. Mascara kind of sucks to be honest. And my all time favorite Urban Decay Perversion Mascara for the high end side. Okay, time to move on to. I'm a little bit lopsided, aren't I? The primer I'm going to be using these two. I'm going to be using the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer on my left side of my face. So weird putting a product on half of your face. And then for the other side, the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Okay, now it's time for foundation. So on this side of my face, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Coverage Concealer Foundation, not concealer. Pro Coverage High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. <gasps> and then on the other side of my face, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I couldn't... Okay, so first of all, the dupe for this, the high end, like this is a dupe for a high end product, which is not cruelty free, so I'm not going to be using that. And then I was like, okay, well, it's really similar to the NARS Sheer Glow, so I'll use that and I can't find it. I feel like I haven't unpacked it yet. This is also a medium to full coverage foundation, which is like on the more dewy side, so I thought it would be similar to this. The only thing is I feel like the um, the shades are not going to match. I also have two different beauty blenders so that I don't mix my foundations. I've never tried this foundation before but the finish is so nice. <laughs> the shade difference. See, doing this, I'm like, what is the point in spending this much on a foundation when this one looks so good? Back into my concealers. I don't know how to go about highlighting my nose. And using my translucent powders again to set my under eyes. Before I set the rest of my face, I actually want to do a little bit of cream contour. So I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in the shade Fawn. And then on the other side, I have the Too Faced Bourbon Sweet Concealer in the shade Dark. And I'm going to use the same translucent powders to set my whole face as well. Now I'm going to be taking my NYX Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Medium to bronze the left side of my face. And for the right side of my face, I have my Bare Minerals Bronzer. This is in the shade The High Dive. From LA Girl, I have some banana powder. Okay. 
And then I also have one from NARS. And then for my highlighter, I have Glowing Land from Beauty Creations. This is a highlighter palette. So beautiful. I decided to use a glow kit from Anastasia because they were both like palettes. This one here looks really similar to Bubbly from this one. So let's give it a whirl. Two different highlighting brushes. gonna go ahead and finish off my under eyes and grabbing my little highlighter palette again for my inner corner highlight and now for my lips I have the NYX lingerie this is in the shade Baby doll. It smells like chemicals. And for the other side, I have Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Pure Hollywood. And I also have setting sprays. So I have my NYX Dewy Finishing Spray. And then for the other side, I have the Tatcha luminous dewy skin mist and that is the completed look for today's video i had so much fun filming this it is so much fun just like putting each product on each side of your face and realizing wow they look so similar like at some point like the eyes um the bronzer the highlighters like i just can't tell a difference like seriously you can make the exact same look with much more affordable products. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!